take a look inside the beautiful private island hideaways of millionaires. Isn't life just way better when you're running on island time? Imagine now the soft and crashing waves of bright blue, the salty and earthy scents of the sea breeze. We really need a vacay. It's just something about being on an island that makes us kick back, relax and chill. Ideally with a cocktail in hand and not giving a care in the world about anything. Not a fan of cocktails? Maybe grab a cigar and light that sucker up. So what if you're a person with an extra $40 million of jump change lying around somewhere in a spare drawer? You get your own private island, of course. We all get bored sometimes, right? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll take a look inside the beautiful private island hideaways of millionaires. Excited yet? Before we venture into it though, we must ask you, would you ever want to own a private beach? Or is this too much of a hassle for you, you know, maintenance-wise? I guess we aren't thinking properly. Of course, with all that sort of coin laying around, you'd probably have someone who take care of all your yard work and someone to wipe your private ass. but we digress. Please, share in the comments below, we wanna know. Let us hope that somehow, some way, we score an invite to one of these fabulous private islands. Know someone? Now, before we start this vid, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tickle that like icon, and turn on the notification bell. Done? Now, let's get green with envy. Number 8. Let's begin with Mushakai Bahamas, David Copperfield. What is it with magicians and islands? David Copperfield owns not just one but four islands in the Bahamas, and he spent a whopping $50 million on it. Wonder if David multiplies his money. I mean, hey, he is a magician after all. Only one of his islands, Mushakai, serves as a private resort. The rest of them are just there to ensure that Mushakai is as private as it gets. Can you beat that? I mean, is there anything more euphoric than lying down on the beach for hours? The warm, breezy air, the tropical aroma, the peaceful sounds of nature. Hot damn, we should be a relaxation channel. Gotta snap out of it, we're about to doze off here. This 700-acre island gives you luxury living with exclusivity and privacy. So, you and your buddies can stay at villas which are fully equipped with flat-screen TVs, air conditioning, Wi-Fi and butler service. There are five luxury homes throughout, featuring a total of 12 bedrooms and 13.5 bathrooms. You'll even get a private speedboat, an outdoor theater, and beachside daybeds you can lounge on all day and night. Just a few other things the island has are, wait a sec, you guys need to go grab your sticky notes just in case you're planning to visit. A gym, four hot tubs, several bikes, and also a very well-lit championship tennis court. If you ever get bored, which we're pretty sure is impossible here, you could also explore the waters on a 28-foot Nautilus rib catamaran, paddle boards, a 23-foot jet board, sailboats or jet skis, which are all included. For those wanting to hike, there are plenty of paths to explore the vast island to yourself. If you've got dreams of all this plus some exotic Caribbean cuisine, you've got to be filthy rich. And in that case, $57,000 for a night shouldn't boggle you much. After all, you get to admire the owner and artist David Copperfield's private art collection too. Number 7. Blackador Kai, Belize, Leonardo DiCaprio Okay, this comes to no surprise that the star of the beach purchased, well, a beach. Here's Leonardo DiCaprio's guilt-free paradise. Now, you can't deny that this guy has incredible taste. He is the great Gatsby after all. And there are only a few celebrities we'd trust to deliver a luxury hotel project. This luxury lodge is planned to include 68 guest villas and 48 private homes, ranging from $5 to $15 million on this 104-acre island that was purchased for close to $2 million by Leo. Some of these homes are beautifully suspended over the water. Sounds like paradise. But this isn't just some random luxury retreat. The actor, known for his environmental consciousness, refers to this as a restorative island and plans to construct the greenest luxury property the world has ever seen. An island powered exclusively on renewable energy. You go, Leo. The island is exceptionally beautiful, 
we mean crazy, stunning, eye-popping, exhaustingly gorgeous. Leo didn't have much luck at sea in the icy North Atlantic. Perhaps that's what drew him to this island. Number 6. Sonning on Thames, Oxfordshire, George Clooney After throwing your wife an Italian wedding fit for royalty, the only luxurious purchase qualified to top it is a private island. George Clooney and Amal Amudin purchased this historic 17th century English manor on a private island for 12 friggin' million dollars. Overlooking the River Thames, the 5.5-acre island is a part of Sonning Eye, a village where Clooney filmed scenes for the Monuments Men, and he apparently fell in love with the scenery. The things we'd buy if we had the money to get everything we loved. The Lux 17th century estate is nearly 9,000 square feet with 10 bedrooms. Its former owner, financier Omar Bayoumi, fitted the property with plenty of high-tech upgrades and trendy luxuries during his time in Sonning on Thames. For an old-timer like this, it features a 12-seat theater, 60-foot swimming pool, library and tennis court, amongst many other things. But of course, these properties all seem to have it all. So, the Cloonies had no trouble feeling at home in their new, well, now 18-month refurbished home. Home sweet home, or rather, island sweet island. This place also comes with its own docking facilities and a boathouse. Pretty necessary, since it is right on the Thames after all. Number 5. Goat K, Bahamas, Tim McGraw and Faith Grill Palm trees sway in the breeze Crystal clear turquoise water lapping on the sugar white sandy beaches The only sound that disturbs the peace is the squawking of parrots Nope, stop The sound of a chilled wine being poured into your glass is the only sound better than waves crashing Or how about a pina colada on the beautiful goat kai? Right when the country music power couple Faith Hill and Tim McGraw went looking for a slice of paradise to chill, they found it in the heart of Exuma Island Chain in the Bahamas. Fast forward to where you would be the most excited to go, the bedroom. It has full side-to-side -side opening glass windows, with jaw-dropping views across the pool to the sea. The main residence comprises a grand 6,517 square foot space made up of eight structures they call pots on this beautiful 20-acre plot of island. For outdoor fun, the island features 1.3 miles of ocean frontage. How about going on a mission to find Nemo? If you're over snorkeling and want to dig in deeper, there's scuba diving. Paranoid of going inside the water? Well, there's kayaking too. And hey, if you run out of chilled wine, try calling your neighbor, magician David Copperfield. He'll certainly make a surprising appearance. Now, guess what? This place is on the market. You can own it for the low price of only $35 million. Get that checkbook out. We're halfway, guys. Go grab your sunscreen because we're not done with the tour yet. We don't want you to get a sunburn while listening to all this tropical goodness. Before that, though, make sure to smash up that like button and hit that bell notification if you haven't done so. This way, you won't miss a single video we make. For the low, low cost of hitting that button, we bring you hours of entertainment. Stay tuned and subscribe already! 4. Little Hall's Bon Kay, Bahamas, Johnny Depp How could the pirate not have his own Caribbean island? This enormous 45-acre island retreat is in a world of its own, with rolling hills, lush green beaches, and astonishing 12 pristine powder white beaches. The island has been labeled as the purest place on Earth, and it's not hard to see why. It was during the filming of Pirates of the Caribbean that Depp spotted the island and decided to shell out $3.6 million for it. When he first touched down on the island, part of the Exumas, the natural flora, fauna, and inhabitants were so well protected that there was absolutely no infrastructure waiting for Depp when he purchased his slice of heaven. Depp immediately put his stamp on it by adding his own ranch-style house with a 360-degree view. Several other residences, including a beach house and bamboo yurt, are entirely solar-powered. As you would expect for someone like Depp, renowned for his multiple characters, all of the homes and buildings on his island thread the same needle by being quirky yet classy. Even his interior design perfectly matches Johnny Depp's Gold Coast Australian home. It's a peculiar multi-million dollar property sat in lush greenery. Also, here's something cute. Each of the island's beaches are named after something special to him. Two of them were his children, Lily Rose and Jack. 
This is the island where he healed after substance abuse problems, bombed movies, and failed marriages. So before 2015, it was the perfect spiritual oasis where he even married Amber Turd. Oops, hurt, but let's not get into that situation. Number 3. Il Gagnon Canada, Celine Dion Singer Celine Dion's wondrous pipes have earned her a hell of a lot of money, enough for her to spend on a private island. Celine Dion is from Canada, so it only makes sense that her private island, Il Gagnon, is in the Canadian waters. The 830,000-square-foot island sits within the sleepy Eels River. This is probably where Celine would take breaks from the bustle of concerts and recording studios. With its six bedrooms and six bathroom castle-like mansion, Dion has outfitted her home with sparkling gold chandeliers, regal red carpets and drapery, wrought iron details and dark wood. This place is enormous, 24,000 square feet of residential space. This mansion is much more than a few bedrooms and a living room, a dedicated wine storage center with a wine tasting area, a library with towering bookcases, and an entertainment room with a pool table and a poker table. Yeah, it comes with all of this. How about some snacks, sip up on some cocktails and hang around in the swimming pool? Life won't get any better than this. But don't even think about skipping over the gates. Tight security ensures that the closest you'll get is if you travel within sighting distance by boat. Enough dreaming now. This property, unfortunately, sold for 25.5 million maple syrup, uh, we mean dollars. You can no longer purchase it. Number 2. Necker Island British Virgin Islands Sir Richard Branson Okay, so you could make your dream of a beach paradise a reality on Necker Island. Sir Richard Branson's 74-acre private island is unarguably the most ideal place in the British Virgin Islands. It's literally the definition of a luxury private island, with top-class food, the latest activities, and the best facilities. Oh, and for those of you who don't already know, Sir Richard Branson is only the chairman of a small company called Virgin Group. The magnificent Balinese-style houses, with their teak furnishings, spotless linens, and amazing beach views will wow you. The 15 guest rooms, able to accommodate up to 48 guests, offer breathtaking views of the Caribbean, Atlantic, and neighboring islands. To book the island for exclusive use, 48 guests will set you back more than $100,000. To book a single room will set you back more than $5,000 a night. Children do get a discounted rate. You cannot get bored on this island as everything is offered. Kite surfing, sailing, kayaking, paddleboarding, snorkeling, scuba diving, yoga, tennis, and much, much more. If you want some me time, you could head to the Necker Island Spa or simply lie in a hammock on the beach and watch the sun dance upon the waves. Don't forget to take your camera, guys. You'll be sure to return with postcard perfect photos with the endless ocean, pillow like clouds, and smooth, clean sands as your backdrop the kinds that would make your besties jealous of your Insta or Snaps. Number 1. Locala Island, Fiji Dietrich Mateschitz Red Bull magnate Dietrich Mateschitz has spared no expense to create a spectacular $10 million island tropical hideaway. It's going to get you over-the-top luxury and total privacy in one of 25 unique villas. It's legit pure red carpet luxury. Each villa comes with a private infinity pool, as well as the Resort in the Resort, Lokala's Hilltop Estate. The estate comes with three stunning bedrooms that are separate from each other. There are outdoor bathtubs and also a room service menu of food that's 80% grown on the island. If you're an epicure, you go to talk to your chef and come back with the refreshed palate. The villa offers 360-degree views of the entire island. Oh, and it comes with a private cook, a chauffeur, and a nanny. How fancy! a fleet of 14 boats and a submarine are housed at the island's water sports center. Snorkeling, windsurfing, kitesurfing, and kayaking are all options. Fond of horses? Well, you'll find eight lovely Fijian steeds waiting for you. Your prince could also be waiting for you in one of them, and you never know. Okay, stop dreaming already. Which one of the islands would you want to own or rent if you had a stash of millions? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, Please don't forget to like and share as we spend a lot of hard work creating every single video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Until our next video rolls out, check out some of our older videos as well, guys. 
Until next time, stay tuned and bye for now.